tengo algunas malas. Ajá. Corríjalas. No, ajá. Sí, yo corregí todas, ahora todavía una. Todavía está a tiempo. Sí, sí, yo corregí una de los ¿Cuál es, cuál, ¿En cuáles tienes problemas? Diga para ayudarle. Quiero ver, veamos ahorita. Eso tiene que estar en el progreso, ahí tiene que decir la sección donde no, estoy No, este, va. vaya, mire ahí, no, en, 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 métase, métase en las secciones ahí y ahí le va a aparecer, este, a la, ahí dice de 100 a 100% y, y algunas donde tiene malas le aparece 97% o cosas así, o sea, menos Pero del 100. En, en el progreso. Ah, en progreso. Sí, en la barrita de los progresos. Ajá. Ah, vale. En la sección 1, en la 4, en la 5, ahí está. El problema, 1, 4 y 5. ¿En cuáles? Entre y diga en cuáles. Quiero ver. Sección 1. Peter, no se escucha. Hola, Christian. Hi, Christian. No, no. Ok, so the one that you have problems is if to use that or not. Is that correct? No, eh, ya, ya, ya encontré acá la, la sección exacta. Uh -huh. Es la en la clase 5.8 hay un video. All right. Y ahí muestra una fórmula. Uh -huh. Cuando uno message will tell and ask. Uh -huh. Entonces la, la, la primera fórmula tell plus person plus that plus uh -huh. the statement. Uh -huh. eh, so after that um, en in, in the um, uh, final exam, uh -huh. eh, yo lo colocaba así exactamente cuando utilizando o colocando el dat, uh -huh. pero me lo ponía malo. Uh -huh. Al quitar la palabra dat, me lo ponía bueno. Uh -huh. Ok, and uh, do you, uh, for example, do you remember that uh, in the video, uh, Christian, um, el dat estaba entre paréntesis? Yes, yes. Ok. Yes. Eso yes. significa que el dat puede o no puede ir. Pero es correcto um, que vaya. That, that, yeah. Depende what you're saying. Eso es lo que no entiendo yo también. ¿Cómo identificar? ¿Cómo cuando identificar? Utilizarlo. Ok, I'm going to send you information about that, ok? Porque todavía no vamos a, a eso. Ok. okay. But I'm going to send it to you. Ok. What, how, ¿Cuándo? Y dice, por eso es que está en, en medio, en paréntesis. Because you can use it or you cannot use it. Depends. Y por eso le salió mala, porque todavía okay. no estamos en ese tema. Ok. Ajá. Pero Yo... por andar de adelantado le fue mal. No, mentira, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Eso se llama, guys, direct and indirect speech. Y eso se llama. Así se llama. Por ejemplo, eh, Christian dijo algo y entonces... Yo tengo que decir lo que él dijo. Y es como decir, Cristian dijo que tuvo problemas en... Eso es, es la diferencia entre el ser y el tell. Ese es el número 5. Entonces es diferente. Ya le, le pueden mandar una información. Vean que no es complicado. Pero esa era su duda, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo sí. usar el dat y cuándo no usar el dat? Por eso es que sí. estaba en paréntesis. Ok. So don't worry about it. Con la información que les voy a mandar, you will be satisfied and, and clear. Okay. Okay. Any other questions regarding the platform issues? No? No, uh, no for me, no. No, right. I know you're really smart. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I guess. used to see. Yours, uh, yeah, everybody. You're a really good <laughs> students. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy. Very good, guys. So let's finish right now. Yesterday we uh, we started um, with, a, with a really good topic. Do you remember which one we were talking about? About the mountain. Uh huh. Also, there was, were new words for you, like kilometers, right? Square miles, square kilometers. Oh. Uh huh. We talk, we start talking about distances and measurements. And we're measurement. going to continue with that, yes. Today, guys, we're going to check about questions with how and which. We're going to learn how, guys, for example, if you would like to ask about the height of something, how I can ask for that. 
If I want to ask for the distance between one thing and another, between one country, for example, another country, between one city and another city, how I formulate that question and how I'm going to answer. Or for example, if I would like to ask about the deep of something, la profundidad, the deep of something, how I need to ask and how I'm going to answer, okay? Those are distance and measurements. And that's what we're going to learn today, okay? And then we're going to do some practice activity and also speaking activity. And we're going to also read an article about that, okay? So are okay. you ready? Yes, right, I know that you're ready. You're always ready, I know that. <laughs> All right, guys, so let me open up right now the information. And then we're going to start. I don't know what happened with this computer. Maybe this computer is tired. <laughs> that could be. This computer knows that it's almost Friday. And the body knows that it's Friday. <laughs> All righty. Almost there. Do you remember, guys, which was one of the uh, questions that we used yesterday on uh, where we're uh, learning about Mount Cook? Do you remember that? No? Mm -hmm. No se recuerdan? Preguntas que estábamos viendo ayer acerca del Monte Cook. ¿Se recuerdan? No? No, no come on. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. es, alguien tiene sueño, right? ¿Quién tiene sueño aquí? I don't know. Maybe everybody. Maybe. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I, I know you're yeah. tired, guys. I know. I know. It has been a long week for everybody. But that's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, cool. That's the picture that I want. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen. Oof, you cannot imagine how many things I have to study today. All right, cool. Can you see it, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay, well, that's, yes. Ah, that's, all right. that's too little for me. All right, allow me one moment. What about this one? Yeah. Much better? Perfect. Oh, yes. Okay, perfect. All righty. Okay, guys. So take a look right now. This was the dialogue that we heard yesterday about Mount Cook. And I want you guys to pay attention on the how questions that we have used. The first one, how high are the mountains? What am I asking, guys? ¿Qué estoy preguntando? ¿Cuál es la altura de...? ¿Qué tan alta es la montaña? ¿Qué tan alto? Exactly. Son las montañas. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, guys, this is really important. Because we're using the how question, but do you see that we have here high? Mm. Guys, this is an adjective. Este es un adjetivo, right? Si tú se fijas, Si yo estoy preguntando qué tan alto son las montañas, el mismo adjetivo I'm going to use to answer the question. Mira, por ejemplo, aquí. Bueno, dice que el Monte Cook es el más alto. ¿Cuánto mide? 3,800 meters high. Exactly. So, ¿ves que uso también high para dar respuesta? Uh -huh. Yes. Because the same ad adjective that I'm using here as a question is the same adjective that I use it for answer, guys. Okay, what about this mm -hmm. one? Miren acá, aquí es diferente. How far is New Zealand from Australia? ¿Qué estoy preguntando aquí? ¿Qué tan lejos? Exactly. Es la distancia. Ves que la, la primera, estoy hablando de measurement, right? De medidas, right? Porque estoy hablando de height. Pero aquí, far, estoy hablando de distance. Mira, este es el otro adjetivo, mira. Far. Oh. Exacto. Entonces, hoy, hoy, si tú te fijas en la answer, no voy a usar el mismo adjetivo para contestar. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy preguntando de distancia. Entonces, mira lo que veo acá. De la Auckland está a 2,000 kilómetros de Sydney. ¿Ves que ocupo otra forma para poder contestar? ¿Cuál distance okay. estoy ocupando acá? Kilometros. Kilometros. Kilometers. Kilometers. Exactly, guys. So basically, this is what we're going to, to, uh, to learn today. Miren acá. That's what I want you to focus on that. Esos se llaman questions with how. ¿Ok? Ven que aquí todos los tengo con how. Miren acá. Y está en negrita. 
pay attention to this one, guys. Miren, how, how, how. Pero miren, ¿qué tengo how acá? Far. far, exactly. Tengo big, right? Tengo high, deep, long, hot, and cold. ¿Qué son estos, guys? ¿Cómo se llama esto? Adjectives. Exactly, adjectives. Miren, entonces, primero, mi formulita sería aquí. Utilizo how, guys, plus an adjective, yeah, plus the verb to be, right? Verb to be. Whoops, what I'm doing? Okay. Plus the complement, guys. ¿Sí? Esa sería la, la fórmula acá. ¿Se fijan? Miren, aquí está el verb to be. ¿Ven acá? Si yo ocupo un adjective, guys, tiene que ir el verb to be. No puede ir otro verbo, ¿ok? Tiene que ser el verb to be. ¿Y por qué es, guys? ¿Por qué es? Porque es algo. Uh, we are talking about... Uh, um, only one. Only one, exactly. Mira. Por ejemplo, singular, singular. Singular. Very good. Aquí está hablando de Singapur. Mount Cook. El Grand Canyon, que es el Gran Cañón. The Mississippi River. The Oakland in the summer. Oakland, the city. And winter. O en este caso, it representa, por ejemplo, en este caso mismo, Oak, Oakland. Muy bien. ¿Estamos hasta aquí? ¿Estamos bien? Uh, no, I have a question. Go ahead, Christian. Okay. Uh, in in the, the first example, uh -huh. uh, uh, we use in the answer the other adjective. Which one? Uh, for example. Um, Qual adjective? Which adjective? How, uh, in, in the first in the how, first question, how, how high hard? is the oh how the high mountain? How okay. high? Uh -huh. in, in my answer, for example, ah, is um, three kilometers. Uh -huh. The longest. Eh, no. no. Three, yeah, see, then it's supposed to three kilometers, but you need to also specify about the adjective. Porque tú me puedes decir tres kilometers, pero tres kilometers de qué? De distancia? De alto? De ancho? ¿Qué? So you need to specify. Si yo te pregunto, por ejemplo, mira, la, mira el, el ejercicio 3, yes. la pregunta 3. How high is Mount Cook? ¿Qué estoy preguntando aquí? ¿Cuán alto, ¿Cuán alto es el Monte Cook? ¿Sí? It's, ¿por qué? Porque me estoy refiriendo al Monte Cook. De, de, digo la, la distancia de altura o la medida de altura, que serían 3,740 meters. Pero ves que como yo quiero saber lo alto, no lo ancho de eso. Porque aquí estoy especificando qué es lo que quiero saber del Monte oh. Cook. En este caso okay. es highness, okay. right? Entonces, la respuesta va a usar high. ¿Sí? Si yo te preguntara how, how long, how deep, qué tan profundo es el monte, que sería en este caso esta pregunta, mira, me vas a, me vas a usar el mismo adjetivo. ¿Sí? ¿Me entiendes? Yes, teacher. Cool. Excellent. Okay, guys. Vamos uno por uno. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Can you please repeat it, guys? How far, How far is, is New Zealand, Zealand from, from Australia? From Australia. Australia. Muy bien. ¿Qué estoy preguntando aquí? ¿Qué tan lejos está Nueva Zelanda de Australia? Exactly. I'm asking about the distance, ¿sí? La distancia. Entonces, la distancia, ¿cómo se mide? En metros, en kilómetros, ¿no es cierto? All right. Entonces, aunque el adjetivo que estoy usando es far, pero yo no voy a usar el adjetivo far para responder. Solo voy a darle la distancia, que es cerca de 2,000 kilómetros, ¿sí? Y por ejemplo, yo pregunto, ¿qué tan grande es Singapur? How big is Singapur? Can you please repeat the question, guys? How big is Singapur? Ok, yo también voy a, no voy a utilizar el big, sino voy a darle las medidas en cuanto a, a grande que es. ¿Cuántos, cuántos kilómetros hay? 
700 square kilometers. Square kilometers. Kilómetros cuadrados. Cuadrada. ¿Qué es, lo que, ¿Qué es lo que está midiendo el kilómetro cuadrado? La circunferencia de las cosas, ¿no es cierto? The area. Yeah, yeah the area, exactly. The area. Very good. Yeah. Es diferente con el ejemplo 3. How high is Mount Cook? Ahí yo quiero ver la altura del Monte Cook. ¿Qué es lo que utilizo? Siempre it's, ¿verdad? Porque estoy refiriéndome al Mount Cook. Yo sé qué es lo que me están preguntando. I have the, the measurement, ¿ves? Esta es medida. Y utilizo el high. Porque le estoy diciendo que tiene esos metros de altura. ¿Estamos bien aquí? Yes, yes, yes. What about deep? ¿Qué es deep? ¿Se recuerdan que acabo de decir que es deep? Profundidad. 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 Yeah. En este caso estoy preguntando la profundidad del Grand Canyon, del Gran Cañón. ¿Cuánto de profundidad tiene? meters deep. Exactly. Tengo que decir el measurement y tengo que decir deep, porque también teacher, puede ser high. Dígame. Teacher, yes, sir. Is, is incorrect that I answer it's about 1900. Yes, it is incorrect. It's incorrect. Yes, it is incorrect. Eh, eso también creo que vamos a practicar eso, chicos, también. O voy a ver si tomo un rato para darles la clase de cómo se leen los números en inglés. Porque it depends. Okay. It depends, guys, if you're talking about measurements, como en este caso, or if, or if you're giving like a phone number to somebody, también okay. es diferente. Or if you're, for example, uh, telling the, the date, or you're talking about a, a year, it's different as well. It depends. Okay. Mm -hmm. En okay. este caso, it's 1,900. Okay? Okay. Very good. Okay, that other one. How long is the Mississippi River? ¿Qué estoy preguntando aquí? Que tan largo es el río de Mississippi. Exactly. So if you see that, I'm using right now, guys, the kilometer because the measurement. Pero ven que siempre lo utilizo long porque mm -hmm. el, el adjetivo. Solo que vean ustedes, chicos. El adjetivo, when I'm asking a question, va después del how question. ¿Se recuerdan? Bien. Pero when you answer, guys, va después del measurement. Miren. El measurement son kilómetros, ¿no? Entonces, después del measurement, tengo el adjetivo. El adjetivo siempre va a ir al final, chicos. Cuando usted, cuando usted responda, pero no cuando usted pregunte, ¿sí? Ok. okay. Very good. Excellent. So, and let's continue. How hot is Auckland in the summer? ¿Qué estoy preguntando aquí? Tan caliente. Tan caliente. Uh -huh. Qué, 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 cuán caluroso, exactly. Cuán caluroso es Oakland en el verano. Ok. ¿Qué digo yo? It gets up. Y gets up es decir que llega hasta. Eso significa, ¿eh? Porque gets up es como levantarse, ¿no? Normalmente. Pero en este caso, gets up es decir eh, lo más que llega, por decir así. To about cerca de 23 Celsius. Ok. Celsius es otro measurement, ¿sí? Porque la temperatura no la podemos medir en kilómetros, ¿verdad, chicos? Ni en metros. <risa> Tiene que ser Celsius. Eh, guys, nosotros utilizamos esta medida, ¿no es cierto? Yes. 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 Pero most of the time in British and America, in, esta, in United States, guys, nosotros usamos mucho el Fahrenheit. Siempre. Fahrenheit. Entonces, es mm. bueno saberlo, la diferencia, porque a veces le dicen a uno, mira, ¿y cuánto? Ahorita está a 74 Fahrenheit. Híjole, man, ¿y cuánto es eso en Celsius? Dice uno. Right? So es, es bien importante saber que se usan las dos medidas y, la difer y el equivalente en uno y el otro. Re Vamos a pronunciar la... la how, you, how you say that in English? Repeat after me, guys. Celsius. 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 Fahrenheit. 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 All right. All right. Vamos a ver la última pregunta. How cold is it in the winter? How cold is it in the winter? winter? Muy bien. Tengan en cuenta que estoy aquí usando el it porque aquí, porque aquí estoy también preguntando. Estoy preguntando qué tan helado es Oakland en el, en el invierno. ¿Sí? Y para no volver a repetir it, eh, eh, Oakland, puse el pronombre. ¿Sí? Porque me estoy refiriendo a lo mismo. Entonces, it goes down. Chicos, si este gets up es que sube, goes down, ¿qué creen que es? Que baja. Exacto. 
que baja, que baja hasta o cerca de 10 Celsius. Ah, guys, ¿y saben cómo se dice esto? Esta no. ruedita. ¿Sí? Grados. Grados. Ajá. Grace. No. Degree. Degrees. No. Exacto. Degrees. Entonces, Degrees. yo digo 23 Celsius, 23 grados centígrados y ya o sé, sea, 23 Celsius degrees. ¿Ok? El degree va después de Celsius. Uh -huh. Exacto. Y aquí, Fahrenheit degree. ¿Sí? Ok. Very good. Entonces, 10 Celsius degrees, guys, es equivalente a 50 Fahrenheit degrees. ¿Ok? ¿Qué les parece si practicamos las questions con las answers? ¿Te parece? Yes. All right. Porque después vamos a hacer un exercise. Entonces, quiero que sepan o que tengan claro how you ask and how you answer. ¿Ok? Si ustedes se fijan, con los únicos que vamos a usar um, adjetivos para decir, uh, talking about distance and measurements, va a ser con el adjetivo high, con el dip y con el long. ¿Ven eso? Yes. All right, yes. cool. Okay, guys, so let's practice. The first question, how far is New Zealand from Australia? How far, how far is, is New Zealand, Zealand from Australia? Australia? Australia. It's about... It's about... Noten que el it y el about va together, ¿sí? It's about... It's about... 2,000 kilometers. 2,000 kilometers. ¿Cómo se dice equivalente? Bueno, you can say igual es equal en inglés, right? Y equivalente supuestamente es contra rayita, ¿no es cierto? Ok, so you said 1,200 miles. Díganlo. 1,200 miles. 1,200 miles. miles. Exactly, very good. Ok, the second one. How big is Singapore? How big is Singapore? Singapore. Ok, you said it's 710 square kilometers. It's 710 square kilometers. Square kilometers. kilometers. ¿Cuál es el equivalente? 274 square miles. 274 square miles. Very good. Ok, I heard somebody said teacher. Who is it? Mauricio? No, it's me, Alex. Mm -hmm. Alex, I'll listen to you. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Uh, my question is about 1,200 miles. Okay. Uh, we can say 1,200 miles. Yes, you can say 1,200 miles. Okay. That's perfect. Yes. All right. Very good. Now, number three. How high is Mount Cook? How high, high, high is Mount Cook? Cook? How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high. It's it's 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, y el square kilometers, el equivalente es square miles, ¿ok? Bien importante que ustedes sepan eso. Ok, let's continue. Uh, how deep is the Grand Canyon? How deep, how deep is, deep is the, the Grand, Grand Canyon? Canyon? Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. It's about 1,900 meters deep. It's about 1,900 meters deep. Meters deep. Very good. ¿Y cuál es el equivalente? 5,250 feet. 6,250 feet. Ok, si ustedes se fijan, aquí hay algo en particular. Cuando estamos hablando de measurement con height y measurement de deep, de profundidad, ¿ven que feet es el equivalente de ambos? Yes. Uh -huh. Exacto, porque también hay pies de altura y pies de profundidad, ¿no es cierto? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I just want you to notice that. Okay. How long is the Mississippi River? How, How long, long is the Mississippi, Mississippi River? River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long. 
It's about 5,000 Very good. Oh, ¿Cuál es el equivalent? 3,710 miles. 3,710 miles. Very good. Si ustedes se fijan también en long, el equivalente, como long, estamos hablando de, de, de largo, right? También de kilómetros, de metros. So, el equivalente es miles también. ¿Se fijan? Very good. How hot is Oakland in the summer? How hot is Oakland in the summer? Mm -hmm. It gets up to? It gets up to? About 23 Celsius degrees. About 23 Celsius degrees. Hoy vamos a pronunciarlo toda la sentence, ¿ok? Para que sea más fluent. It gets up about... No, no, sorry. It gets up to about 23 Celsius degrees. It gets up, it gets up, to, up about to about 23 Celsius degrees. Very good. Oh, but hoy, ¿qué les parece si hacemos eso con el Fahrenheit? It gets up to about 74 Fahrenheit degree. Very good. And the last one, how cold is it in the winter? Very good. It goes down to about 10 Celsius degrees. It goes down to about 50 Fahrenheit degrees. It goes down to about 15 Fahrenheit degrees. Very good, guys. Esto lo vamos a ver ya después más adelante, no en este nivel, sino en otro nivel, sí. Esto se llaman two word verbs, ¿ok? Así se llaman en, en gramática, two word verbs. O verbos que se componen de dos palabras. Están los two word verbs, guys, y están los three word verbs. Los de tres y los de dos. Son un puño, les voy a contar. Tengo un libro donde tiene más de 100. Sí. Algún día se los voy a compartir, porque es un libro enorme. Parece el código penal de El Salvador. <risa> yes, definitely. Wow. Y, de, y ahí depende de las circunstancias, pueden tener, guys, más de un significado. Ya. Yeah. Así okay. que, you know that this is a horror word, yes. Pero en este caso, significa lo que les acabo de decir. Entonces, guys, ¿qué les parece si nosotros hacemos, trabajamos together en un writing activity, ¿sí? ¿Te gustaría? Vamos a practicar, guys, eh, cómo formular las preguntas. How long, how big, how deep, how hot, okay, how far. That's what we're going to do. ¿Ven ahorita mi pantalla? Yes. Yes, yes. okay, cool, that's what I want. Déjenme solo dar esto para que se vea más visible y no haya ninguna dificultad. All right. Okay. Yo creo que ya terminé. Yes. Finally, teacher. Yes. Okay. Vamos a bajar un poquito. Okay, guys. Si ustedes se fijan, I have four dialogues. Is that correct? Four dialogues. Si ustedes se fijan, tengo solamente los las answers. ¿Qué significa? Que I need to formulate the questions, guys. ¿Sí? Entonces, en eso vamos a trabajar. Al, en el principio, está hablando de altura. Hi, miren. En este caso, el otro está hablando de... Permit. Distance, right? Far. Miren. El otro, de long, ¿sí? Aquí, the distance entre uno y el otro. All right. Y al final de temperatura, right? Entonces, guys, alguien me podría decir cuál sería la la pregunta que podíamos hacer en la primera. Por ejemplo, ¿quién uh, me lee la la question, la, la, la answer? Victor, can you please read it to me the answer? Niagara Fall is 52 meters, uh, 170 feet high. Very good, Niagara Falls. Okay, estoy hablando de ¿Qué estoy, ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? ¿Qué información estoy dando de las cataratas del Niágara? Su altura. Su altura. altura. Very good. Entonces, ¿cuál es el que yo utilizo para hablar de altura? 
high. How high? How high? Okay. How high? Is the Niagara Falls. Is Niagara Falls. Is the Niagara Falls. Exactly. Exactly. Very good, guys. Entonces, ahí está la respuesta, miren. Ven que I'm using high for asking and I'm using high for answering. Yes? yes. Okay. What about the second one, guys? Take a look. Who can read it for me? Thank you, Christian. Okay. How big is California? How big is California? Is that correct, guys? Are you, are you agree with him? Yes. Okay. How big is California? Oops. There you go. What's the answer, Gabby? California is about... Oh, I don't know. Ah, you can do it. Come on. <laughs> uh -huh. 3,970 square kilometers. Oof, take a deep breath. Respira profundo. <laughs> Yes, 403,970 square kilometers or 155,973 square miles. Mm -hmm. Very good. Vamos a practicar la rapidez que ustedes tienen que decir los números, ¿ok? La rapidez. I know. Es más fácil con chiquitos, pero más grandes no, ¿verdad? Ok, I know. Pero very good, Gaby. Excellent. Aunque te ayudaron. Hmm. No le soplen. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. What about number three? Who can read for me the, uh, the answer? Alex, can you please read for me the answer on number three? Mm. Tonight it's 6,000 and I can see you 670 see. kilometers mm -hmm. long. All right. Or the equivalent? Tonight is for... Our 4,145 miles long. Very, very good. Excellent. So what would be the question, Alex? The question. Uh, how long is the Nile? Very good. How long is the Nile? You can say the Nile or the Nile River, guys. Okay? Because we know that it's a river, right? Okay. Okay. Very good. What about number four? Um, who can help me with his minor? Uh, Osaka is about uh, 400 kilometers or uh, Osaka is about uh, 250 miles from Tokyo. Very good. So what, that, what will be the answer with how? Okay. How far? Uh -uh. Don't help him. Uh-huh. Yes. Very good. How mm -hmm. far? How high? Mm -hmm. How high? How high? No. How, how, how long? far? How mm -hmm. far? How far? How far? Very long good. Long or far? Yes, it's Osaka. Oh, I had to put it in capital letters. From Osaka Tokyo. from Tokyo. <laughs> yes, because it's a it's a proper name, right? That has to be in capital. All right, and the last one, guys. I'm talking about Celsius. How cold? How hot or cold? How hot, how, how hot? Yeah, how hot, yes. How hot is what? Is Mexico City. Mexico, right. In the spring. Yeah, CT. In the spring, yes, because, yeah, exactly, because they're providing you the station, right? Okay, the spring, guys, because you see, we have the spring here. So that's why Gabby used the spring. Very good. Excellent. You're good. You see, you're intelligent, guys. Okay, guys. So this is going to be um, practicing activity, speaking activity. Okay? Okay, guys. Now I want you to think about five questions using how high, how deep, how far, etc. about information of your country. Okay? Okay. All right. So I'm going to spare right now in uh, in groups. It will be only two groups right now. Okay. So there you go. And I want you guys to think about only five questions. And the ones that make the questions, the other group will answer. Okay. 
Ah, okay. And then we're going to do like, then the second group who makes the question, the first group is going to answer them, okay? Using the distance and measurements information that we have seen today, okay? Okay. Okay, okay you got two minutes to do that. Oh. That's enough. Only Alexander is me. Alex, what happened? Voy a buscar esta, la, la respuesta exacta. Yes. Okay, guys. This is really important. Uh, you can use places in your country or places in other country. Okay? Okay. okay. Doesn't matter here. Okay. For example, how high is the, the Alpes mountain, for example? Yes. Okay. Oh, how deep is the, I don't know, the depth? Ocean, a dead sea. I don't yes, sir. Uh, can I say uh, uh, how is the distance between San Salvador and San Miguel? How far? How far? Is San Miguel of San Salvador? Exactly. Very good, Sandri. That's the that's the right way. Yes. How far is? Yes. Very good, Sandri. Okay. Oh, tres. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to leave you. Let me double check the other group, okay? Okay. okay la, la, segunda, la, segunda, la segunda pregunta, ¿cuál sería para buscar la respuesta exacta? Okay, la, guys. La, 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 También puse, la, how deep is Cuatepeque Ley? ¿Qué tan profundo? Very good. Uh -huh. Yes, you can use places here in El Salvador, or also you can use places in another country. Okay? Doesn't have to be here in El Salvador. As Only long as you know the answer. Only the El Salvador. Yes, it's up to you. Okay. Mr. Victor is really good on this, so you can ask him. <laughs> no. Very good. So we all only have one minute more, okay? Okay. Tenemos entonces cuatro. Mauricio, si vos las tenés ya, las decís. Ey, porque ey, yo no ey, las he anotado. Dijo, dijo ella de que podemos buscar de otro país, entonces pongámoslo una más difícil. ¿Cuál es la distancia de México hasta aquí a El Salvador? Come on, don't be like that. You're so mean, Vic. <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, so you can how, use it. How, how far, far how Mexico high, how deep, and how big. Tenemos cuatro. ¿Cuál nos hace how, falta? How far is Mexico from El Salvador? Temperatura no hemos usado. Yes. Ah, temperatura no hemos usado. Mm. Yeah, ah. okay, good. But you need to have the answer, okay? Huh. Yes. All right. How, okay, how hot? How, how hot is, hot is, is San Miguel? Is San Miguel is San Miguel. Is, is Qué malo. San Miguel, San Miguel in, Porque hay que tener la respuesta. En el verano. San Google, busquemos en San Google. Yes, Google knows everything. How do you say verano? Summer. Uh, summer. In the summer, summer time, where well, the weather is fine like that, right? With double in M. Summer. Veamos temperatura, temperatura San Miguel en verano. 41 grados no va a salir por lo menos. Algo así. I think it's highest. No, no, no. No. 34 grados, 35 grados. Qué raro. Really? No what, what about La Unión? 
Yes. Veamos la unión, sí, porque San Miguel lo veo muy fresco. <risa> Pero San Miguel es caliente. 38 grados, ahí ah. está bien la unión. Vaya, ya tenemos las cinco, compañeros. De ¿Usted era para leer? No, sí, hombre, sí. voy a... All right, so are you ready, guys? Yes, I'm ready. All right, okay, let's start with uh, group number two. Mauricio, are you going to read it all? We cannot hear you. There you go. Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, guys, so pay attention to the first one. It only have, have a question for you. All right. Uh, centigrados. Degrees. 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 No, esos son grados. Yeah. Degrees is grados. Centigrados is Celsius. Celsius, okay. Yes. Okay. All right, go ahead. The first one, uh, how far is Santa Ana from San Salvador? Okay, who's going to answer from group number one? Um, Christian, would you want to give a try? Okay, it's about um, 16, no, for, 45 kilometers. Uh, no. No, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so what's the correct answer, Mauricio? <laughs> The correct answer is 68 kilometers. Oh. Close to it, close to it. Okay, second <laughs> question, go ahead. How high is Ilamatepec volcano? Sandrita, you want to give a try? <laughs> we cannot hear you. Oh, Sandrita. Yes, very good. Okay. Repeat, please, please repeat. The question, yes, go ahead. How high is Ilamatepec volcano? Um, I don't know. I meant. <laughs> uh, yes, in uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona, 2 a 0, vamos ganando. All right, so say one number, how Sandrita. How long, how high? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no. Okay, what's the answer, Mauricio? It's 2,381 meters high. Wow, that's great. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Sandrita, Sandrita, the same, say, the same question. Say, how do you say sobre yeah. el nivel del mar? Over the sea. Over the sea. Very good. What about number question number three? How deep is Cuatepeque Lake? Oh my God. Uh, who's going to answer from group number one? Uh, let me check. Maynard? Give a try. Hi, uh, Hi. Uh, can you repeat uh, the, the, the question? Uh, yes, Mauricio, go ahead. How deep is Cuatepeque Lake? <laughs> okay, I meant. Yes. Uh, Okay. The lake uh, Coatepec is um, okay, 15 kilometers of deep. Deep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're losing. What's the answer, Mauricio, Victor, or Gabby? I don't know. <laughs> 150 meters deep. <laughs> 115. Okay, and the last one. Uh, how hot is La Unión in summer? 
y wow, guess, I don't know, America maybe o Alexander? Claudita, I guess. 39 grados, 39 grados centígrados. How, how you say that in English? 39? Uh, 39. Celsius? Um, Celsius. Degrees. Close. 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 Close, Claudita. What's the correct answer, Mauricio? 38 degrees. Yeah, wow. Almost, oh. Claudita. <laughs> oh, my God. Almost. All right. So, guys. Are you missing one question or you did it all, right? Uh, the last one. The okay, last go one. ahead. Go ahead. Listen to you. How big is El Salvador? How big? Okay, guys. How big? <laughs> Alexia, you was right. Easy. Okay, Christian, go ahead. <laughs> he said <laughs> it's very easy, so it's up to you. You got to answer that question. Six down? No. Six. <laughs> Six thousand. <laughs> six thousand. No, fifty-two kilometers square kilometers. All right. Uh, is it okay, Mauricio? Eh. Oh, you see. Oh my God. No. A bluster hey, again. A bluster again. Manita, manita, manita. Yeah. Manita, but manita with zero. zero. Okay. Yeah. Five zero. Oh, so, what is the correct answer, Mauricio? It's twenty-one thousand. Uh, mm -hmm. 41 square meat kilometers. Wow, you see? All right, so group number one got zero as a note. Okay, I'm sorry for that. What about group number two? All right. There you go. Okay, Christian, who's going to formulate a question? Okay, I changed the first question because the first group is say, say the uh, same question. Okay. How high is Volcano Santa Ana? All right. I, I change for mm -hmm. how high is the Torre Eiffel? The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. Okay, who's going to answer? Go ahead, Victor. Uh, <laughs> okay, can you repeat the, the question? <laughs> no. The question. Shame on you. Oh, no. okay. Five, one. No. <laughs> Three, 300 meters. Hi. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh my goodness. He's Googling it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, sir. Teacher. Teacher. Uh, yes. The other group, uh, hide the, the, the hands. Uh-huh. <laughs> because, because the other group... Uh, He's searching in Google. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So when everybody, everybody repeat, repeat the question. <laughs> yeah, he was like, okay, yeah, one more time, please. No, 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 no. no. Right. We, are, we are very fast. Uh -huh. fast I, I, I thought you were going to say we are the champions, my friend. Oh, I'm just gonna. We are All right. Masters. Yeah. Well. Okay. Okay. What about question number two? Number two. How hot is Sara? Desert in a day. Oh, Mr. Luis Villanueva, can you answer that? Fast, very fast, please. Um, it, it is a hot, um, um, yes, 15, Five, 15 four, degrees. Three, two, two. Uh, Mauricio, uh, 59 <laughs> degrees, 59 mm -hmm. degrees. Uh, oh, Google. Uh, uh, Google. Uh, Google. 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 Number one. Oh Google. My. Google. Come on. Number three, please. I I want I want to see the bar. Yes. The bar. All right. Yay. Okay. Number three, please. Okay. How cold is? Alaska today. Okay. Gabi M, you want to give a try? Okay. Um, right now? Yes. Yes. Um, 16? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. They are Googling it. They are Googling yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, hey, see you. Hey. No. <laughs> no, no. Okay, the, la the last one, Chris Christian. 
Okay. Um... <laughs> Okay. The last one is how far is San Miguel from San Salvador? Okay, you should know that. Uh, yes. Meters. Meters. Okay. okay, Gabby again. Me? Yes. It's about one hundred five. Uh, eighty-five kilometers. No, one hundred five yeah. kilometers. You Google it, so that's not no. uh, around around one hundred forty kilometers. Around. No. No. One hundred five kilometers. No. 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 Uh, Claudia, what is the answer? One hundred three three eight point. Four kilometers. All right. So, ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's my turn. laughs> okay. 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 So, even though the group number two won, okay. So, congratulations. You see, very good. But here, guys, it doesn't matter who who answered correctly, who doesn't. The thing is that you learn how to use the distance and measurement questions with how, so you can ask how deep. How high, how long, how big, how far, how hot, how cold is something. And guys, you know how to answer. That was the, the purpose of this exercise. Okay? okay. And guys, how, why we're double checking and practice everything? Because you have a hunger for Monday. Yay! <laughs> Are you isn't it amazing? Okay, guys, this is what I want you to do. I want you guys to write an article to promote a place in your country. Okay? Quiero que escriban un artículo pequeño to promote a place in your country. Para promover un lugar en de aquí del Salvador. All right? It could be Santa Ana place, uh, could be Coatepeque, any place that you love. Okay? Choose the place that you love here for in El Salvador. And you're going okay. to be a guide, a tourist guide, okay? And you're going to promote it. Yes? That will be the, the homework for Monday. I will send you guys in a couple of minutes after we finish today, uh, an example of an article, okay? So you have like an idea. It doesn't have to be big, no. Only one or two paragraphs will be enough. But guys, in that article, you will need to use the distance and measurements, and at the same time, that comparison of adjectives and superlatives, okay? You are going to use okay. both topics. Alrighty, so isn't it amazing? You're, you're hungry? Yes, right? Okay. <laughs> and also, guys, but it's going to be a challenge because this is not just about talking, okay? I want you to make a presentation on Monday. Yes, a presentation. You can use any, you, you can use like photograph, for example, all right? You can use anything, like if you're presenting, you're, you need to sell the idea. Tienen que vender la idea, right? You need to promote the place. Okay, so I want you to use your imagination, guys. Okay, I can do it. I know you can do it. Huh? That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> and don't worry, Luis. You can use a pictures, okay? You can use pictures. Doesn't matter. Okay? Okay. Okay, cool. I know that you're worried about that, right? No? All right. Uh -oh. nah, of course not. All right. Okay, guys. So it was nice to have you on the class. I wish you a great weekend. Please take rest. Do the platform activities, please. Thank you. Thank you so much, Victor, for completed. Also, Christian. Maurice, I think is completed. Maynor as well. I'm missing Luisitos and Drita, right? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Any doubts? You have me. If I'm not able to answer you right away, you have my right hands. You have Mr. Maynor, Mauricio, and Christian. They will be more than glad to help you as well. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, hugs and kisses. And see you next Monday. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.